Okay, so here we're going to look at uh, a simulation website called FET, P-H-E-T. Um, you can visit this on your own. Uh, the, the, uh, I have a link on Moodle as well, but it's also here in the, uh, in the video. You can see the, the website here. Um, so the gas properties, we're going to go to this ideal one here. Uh, and this lets us pump in some molecules, our particles, and we're, we can heat them up. All right, and then this is the behavior we talked about with kinetic molecular theory. We have a bunch of particles moving around in constant ceaseless motion. They're not pushing or pulling on each other. They're just colliding with each other. Now, the one part of this that um, doesn't quite work is that these do actually have volumes, um, unlike, but we can assume that the volume is negligible, which, you know, the volume of the particle compared to how far they travel between collisions, pretty good. Okay, so we can see that um, you know things are just bouncing around. If we add more particles, they're going to start bouncing around as well, and we can observe you know all the different things. We can change the volume of the box and see that when we do all this, um, right? So the simulation is measuring all these different right the things that we care about: temperature, pressure. Um, we can change the volume. So if we say decrease the volume. You know, according to ideal gas law, that should cause the pressure to increase if the temperature stays the same. So if we increase it again, temperature is the same, pressure decreased. So let's say we want to keep it, uh, we, can, we can hold something constant. So let's say we have a constant temperature, all right? And it's constant at 108 degrees Celsius. Um, so then as we change the volume, okay, we already did that. Um, let's instead keep the, keeping the temperature constant. If we add more gas, what's going to have to happen? Let's add a bunch more gas. We can see the pressure has to increase to, to account for that. Now let's say we want to keep the pressure constant. We can let gas particles out and see that the volume shrinks, right? So as we decrease the number of moles. Um, so this is something you can play around with and see, you know, we can let more things out. We can try and pump gas back in. You can see the volume has to decrease to keep things constant. Anyway, if we hold nothing constant, then we can do other things. So you can play around with this and see that we get the ideal gas law behavior, right, out of out of this sort of system, um, where we have where we can change temperature, pressure, volume. We can mess with all the things. We can also add other particles, we can count the number of collisions, right, and see that in 10 picoseconds we get a certain number of collisions. Um, we can see how big this box is, right, so this is only 11.3 nanometers. Anyway, there's a lot of fun things to play with on this simulation. But I just wanted to show you, like, when we talk about these assumptions, sometimes it's hard to visualize it, this is what it looks like. It's a bunch of balls bouncing around. Uh, this is just, you know, two-dimensional space. We're going to be dealing with three dimensions, right, X, Y, and Z, but the math actually works out to be mostly the same. So, uh, just wanted to show this to you and let you, uh, you, uh, you can also take a chance to, to play with this on your own as well.